What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet VGC video. Today, I, I just want to actually make this clear, I am not in my usual setup, I am actually working from my girlfriend's family's basement, which is why there are advertisements on my Google thing, uh, but yeah, uh, basically, uh, what we're going to be doing today is, uh, I'm, I'm on my mobile setup, but I want to make a video where I rank the Hisuian Pokemon and talk about how they're going to affect VGC. Uh, and rank them in their viability. So this isn't going to be like the most well-structured video. It's going to be pretty off the cuff because uh, I'm hoping to get this out by Monday. But let's see what we can do. If you guys enjoy this late point in time, do me a favor, leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications because I bring you daily competitive Pokemon content. Even though I am not in my usual spot, I am doing my best today. But yeah, leave a like, subscribe, uh, and answer my comment question of the day. Which Hisuian Pokemon do you think is going to affect VGC the most? And let's go ahead and hop right into it. Right now we have Hisuian Arcanine. Now, Hisuian Arcanine is pretty interesting. Uh, it's a rock and fire type. It has 95 HP, 115 attack. If we actually compare that to regular Arcanine, uh, the stats are actually pretty different. Uh, not like super different, but like you can tell they like adjusted it to make this guy uh, function a little bit better. So this guy's got 95 HP, 115 attack, 80 defense, 95 special attack, 80 special defense, and 90 speed. Basically, it got a little bit slower and it got a little bit bulkier and it hits a little bit harder, but only on the physical side. Now, Here's the big thing. Hisuian Arcanine is another Intimidate user that we'll have access to, which is pretty big. Uh, but in the current format, uh, it's not all that great because we have Garchomp, we have uh, decently strong water types like Dondozo, or even Solo Tatsugiri can deal with this guy. Uh, but what it wants to run, probably instead of Intimidate, is actually going to be Rockhead. Now, Rockhead is really cool, but honestly, Intimidate is also pretty good with like Terra, but you have to commit to the Terra for being real, um, since it is bulkier. But uh, what this allows it to do is it gets access to Head Smash, and it has zero recoil on Head Smash off a 115 base attack, meaning that like Jolly Nature, like max speed, max attack is probably going to be one of the best sets. You can even run like a Life Orb on it if you really want, or even just like Choice Band, because this means that you have no recoil on Head Smash, no recoil on Flare Blitz, Still has access to moves like close combat and extreme speed. It's a really scary Pokemon. And 115 base attack extreme speed isn't anything to laugh at. You could even Terra normal if you want. But honestly, the Terra Rock set or the Terra Fire set are going to be some of the scariest Pokemon in VGC. Especially if you want to like drop the choice band. Let's say that like Intimidate becomes uh, Comet again. And give it a clear amulet. Now, because you're already fire type, uh, this means that you're unable to be uh, you're unable to be burned, and you're also unable to be intimidated. So that's pretty big. You could even just go with like the choice band though. If we're being real, choice band's probably fine. Scarf's also pretty good. Uh, that being said, the typing lets it down quite a bit, and it's going to be carried heavily by um, by uh, terrestrializing. So I'm going to throw that in like B tier. It's just going to be like a really strong breaker, a really scary one too though. Next up, we have. Uh, Hisuian Avalug. Now, Avalug is already like a pretty bad Pokemon, uh, but yeah, I mean, 95 HP, 170, 117 attack, 184 defense, and then like 46 special attack, 28 speed. Uh, yeah, you're underspeeding Amoongus, but like you're never going to get anything done with that attack stat. Uh, this guy has a higher attack stat, so honestly, like giving this guy like um, Mountain Gale makes it a legit answer to Amoongus. Uh, but the issue is they raised its speed, so now it's actually faster than Amoongus. They somehow managed to make it worse. Um, at least defensively, it's like rocking the exact same stats, um, except it has like less special defense on this one and less special attack. They just made it hit harder and end up faster, which was honestly a nerf if we're being real. If it could keep that 127 base attack and like B uh, 28 base speed, it'd be, it'd be perfectly fine. Uh, but Rock Ice is actually really solid uh, offensive coverage. The only thing you can't really hit is Steel types, but obviously this thing has access to Body Press, so that's pretty good. Uh, but yeah, I'm not really seeing this do anything. I think Scizor usage is going to pick up when uh, the what's it called when the Paradox forms come back, because that also means that um, it's going to have like a Fairy type that it has to consistently deal with being Fluttermane. So Bullet Punch just like shreds this thing, even with that like Defense stat, like a Swords Dance Bullet Punch with Life Orb Scissor just shreds it. I can't really give this thing too much. I know it'll probably see some kind of usage, but that's going to be our first D tier. Um, spoilers, I don't really think there are any F tiers on this list. It's, it's just going to be like S to D. Uh, but yeah, next up, Hisuian Braviary. Hisuian Braviary, honestly, a really interesting Pokemon. Pretty low speed, which really sucks, but it, it isn't too hard to hit that 107 speed tier, which makes it a decent Tailwind Pokemon. Honestly, just hit, hit like 108, and then you can like do this. You can run like a Modest Nature um, and give it like... Here, run like a modest nature, give it a life orb. 
uh, give it sheer force, which is going to be its best ability. And now you have sheer force hurricane. That's actually like a really strong combination that I don't believe we've had access to ever here. Sheer force hurricane. Oh, I guess squawkability. <laughs> Sorry, I can't say that with a straight face. Yeah, no, uh, Braviary. Um, so yeah, uh, it's going to have sheer force hurricane, which is really scary. Also sheer force psychic, but it also has like another, what's it like? What's it's like special move? Um, has a special move that I, Esper Wing. So Esper Wing has a 100% chance to raise the user's speed by one stage. That's pretty good. I don't know if Sheer Force actually affects it since it's 100% chance. I think that because it's technically a percent chance, uh, it does get affected by Sheer Force as opposed to it being the primary effect. Uh, so that's pretty cool. High critical hit ratio is also pretty awesome. But I think for the most part, you're going to want to run Psychic since it's higher damage. And you're also going to be running like Tailwind. So like Psychic, Hurricane, Tailwind, uh, and like whatever other special movie have heat wave yeah and this is all like sheer force life or off of 112 base special attack keep in mind that landris could shred things with uh earth power off of sheer force life or 115 base special attack this is pretty close and its moves are stronger and it has better coverage so yeah hisuian bravery uh, i don't think it's going to be that great i'm actually going to throw it up in b tier along with the rest uh, or along with arcanine because i think it's actually just like a solid pokemon hisuian decidui take a look at him i actually haven't looked at him in a while um this guy is a grass and fighting type. Honestly, a really rough typing, uh, but they did give it Scrappy as an ability, which is making it compete uh, with other things for once. I, I think that the best set you can run for this guy is probably going to be like just a choice band breaker since it's unintimidatable already. Um, I could get 252 on this. Sorry, I'm, I'm like not using a, a mouse and keyboard. I'm using like the laptop keyboard with like a trackpad, so it's a little frustrating. Um, does it get Tailwind? It does get Tailwind, so that's pretty good. I mean, I guess you could run like a, a Focus Sash in that case. Like Focus Sash, Tailwind, Close Combat, uh, Leaf Blade, and like a, a final move, maybe like Detect if you want to like have, a, or Protect, I guess, if it doesn't get Detect. Um, but an alternative to that would obviously be you drop a Close Combat for Triple Arrows, which is a new move it gets. Triple Arrows is 90 base power, which is really strong for a fighting move. Most fighting moves are like 80 or 75, except for Close Combat, which is what most things want to run. Um, but keep in mind that Triple Arrows has a high crit chance and uh, drops things defense stats. So you could do like a Triple Arrow set with like a scope lens, right? And that's going to make it like a 50% crit chance and it's going to be dropping things defense stats. That's pretty cool. And it's a 30% chance uh, chance to flinch. Like it, it's it's a lot that's going on there. Like it's, it's going to be able to uh, be really annoying with that move. Uh, it's probably going to be more of a support Pokemon in that sense. Honestly, if it was faster and less bulky, it'd be much better. Because uh, the bulk isn't helping it out much on that bad defensive typing. Uh, but it would also allow it to like triple arrows combo into like another Pokemon KOing things. Uh, I'm going to throw it at like a C tier because I don't think it's that great. But it's definitely not like Avalok tier. Alright, uh, Hisuian Electrode. Let's take a look at this guy. I, I mean, it's going to have like Electrode stats. I know that much. Oh, sorry. Electro uh, Electrode Hisui. Uh, it has the exact same stats as Electrode, from what I can tell, 150 base speed. It's just going to be like Grass Coverage Electrode. <clears throat> Chloroblast, uh, 150 base power. It's like Steel Beam, right? That's kind of cool. I think for the most part, you're just going to run want to run like Energy Ball, though. Like Energy Ball, Thunderbolt. Uh, does it keep webs? If it keeps Electrodes, that could actually be really good. Like a, like a budget Regieleki. Does not. All right. Uh, maybe just like Thunder Wave. <laughs> Thunderweight Protect and like a Focus Sash. Yeah, no, this might be a D tier. This might be a D tier. I mean, elect uh, electric and grass coverage is good. Don't get me wrong. Rotom Mo is good for a reason. Um, but off of 80 base special attack, it's questionable at best. And it doesn't have speed control. That's going to be another D tier. The Suian Quillfish. I have high hopes for this guy. This guy's my goat. Honestly, I'm really excited for this guy. So his Suian uh, Quillfish. If I could spell that right. Quillfish. So here's the deal. Hisuian Quillfish can evolve. Regular Quillfish cannot. We'll actually rank over Quill at the same time since they're going to play eh, not the same. They're actually pretty different. Uh, but let's do Quillfish. So Quillfish has Intimidate. That's the only ability that really matters for it. But it has 65 HP, 85 defense, 55 special defense, 85 speed. You slap an Eviolite on this guy. And he has Intimidate? He goes crazy. Hear me out. We hit that 108 to outspeed Pokemon that are trying to outspeed Dragapult and their Tailwind. We max out that HP, give as much special defense as possible, give it like a calm nature or whatever like the correct one is, careful. Uh, and now 
you have like a really scary Pokemon. You have Eviolite off of base 85 H or off of base 80, 85 defense. Uh, you fix the special defense problem by investing heavily into it, and you also have Intimidate on top of that. It also has a uh, Bar Barrage, if I remember correctly. Yeah, Bar Barrage, uh, 50 or 60 base power move, 50% chance to poison, double uh, damage on already poisoned targets. This isn't going to be like a super offensive Pokemon, but off of, nine, off of a 95 base attack, it's already pretty good. Uh, if it gets flip turn, that'd be really nice. But for the most part, I think it's going to be like it gets haze. That's actually really huge. It's like a it's like a check for uh, Dondozo in that in that sense. It gets icy wind. Uh, and if it kept scald, that'd be good. But nothing keeps scald this gen. So honestly, just like a final move taunt is going to be your best option. And that's like a really nice set. You could even like drop Bar Barrage if you want to. I think Bar Barrage can be the best. Uh, but you could drop like that for uh, Throat Chop if you want, or whatever move it gets that's dark. Crunch, yeah, that's pretty fun. But yeah, uh, this is going to be a really scary Pokemon. I'm actually going to throw it up in A tier. It's going to be a really cool Pokemon to see. There aren't that many good uh, Intimidate, not Intimidate, uh, there aren't that really good uh, Eevee Light users this gen. Now, Overquill is basically just going to be like an offensive variant of this. I don't think Intimidate's going to be the best option. I think it's going to play basically just as like a Swift Swim Pokemon. Uh, which Dark Poison Swift Swim is a really cool niche. Uh, it does get Liquidation. It does keep Bar Barrage, which is pretty good, but I think you want to run like Poison Jab over that. Or if it gets Gunk Shot, that'd also be pretty good. It does get Gunk Shot, so you can run like Life Orb Gunk Shot. Uh, and this is actually a really scary Pokemon now. Uh, what Dark Moves does it get? Is it just going to be Crunch again? Yeah, it's just going to be like Crunch. And then like Swords Dance. And that's, that's actually like a really cool Pokemon. It's decently bulky. Uh, if you want to run like Intimidate over Swift Swim, that's an option too. It's decently fast. You just give it like a, you even give it like an adamant nature. 85 base speed on a Swift Swim Pokemon is relatively fast. So I'm going to throw it up. Uh, I don't think it's going to be like amazing. Oh, there's no Overquill on this. There's no Overquill. All right, we'll just pretend Overquill is like in B tier. I'm going to throw it in B tier. Sorry, I don't know why there's no Overquill. Oh, no, there it is. I'm stupid. I can't see. I can't see. All right, there it is. Uh, Hisui and Samurott. Now, this guy is something I'm really excited for. So Samurott uh, was a really mid poke, actually just actively bad. Uh, but I actually talked about this on a video with Joe UX9 the other day. Uh, and what we concluded was that Hisuian Samurott fixes a lot of the issues that regular Samurott used to have. And it has access to sharpness as an ability, which is a really crazy ability. 50% boost on all cutting moves uh, or slicing moves that are, um, which is like a pretty decent selection of moves. It includes stuff like Sacred Sword, Night Slash, uh, this new move aqua cutter which is basically just water type slash and uh more importantly than night slash this guy has a really crazy move called uh ceaseless edge which lays spikes every time you use it and it's 65 base power 50 percent boost and that basically makes it like knockoff power which is really nice uh it's only five base power less than night slash so i do think it's better than night slash for the most part and you can run like a swords dance set or even like an assault vest set and then put like aqua jet as your last move or whatever other like move you want to run on this guy um Razor Shell is also boosted. So you, act, you would actually probably run uh, Razor Shell over Aqua Cutter. So it has that uh, chance to, uh, to drop defense. Uh, and it's also slightly stronger. Uh, so that's that's really good. But yeah, no, uh, it has bad special defense, but it's a water and dark type, which is pretty decent defensively. So you could just run like an Adamant Nature, uh, give it a bit of speed, but like for the most part, just invest in like HP and like special defense. And not only is it like a really nice like wall breaking Pokemon, but it also is going to be like bulky. And it's kind of a check to Golden Go. Um, yeah, make it rain's gonna hurt because you have low special defense, but the assault vest compensates for it in a way, and you have like a dark type move that not only deals massive damage to it, but will also uh, lay spikes. So I'm gonna throw that in an A tier. Hisuian Gudra, crazy typing. Dragon Steel's a really good typing, and they kind of they kind of scuffed around on it for being real. Uh, but Hisuian Gudra, they're doing it right. It's a defensive typing that goes crazy. 80 HP, 100 attack, 100 defense, 110 base special attack, and 150 special defense. Dude, listen. By the way, it does get um shelter, which is a move that exists, but it's basically just like iron defense, but different. What even is the difference? How much PP does iron defense have? It doesn't tell me here. Let me see. Uh, who gets iron defense? You probably get iron defense, right? You don't. Who gets iron defense? Let me let me check. Hold on. Uh Freaking, a lot of things get iron defense. Here. Magneton. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this. Uh, iron defense. It's 24. It's worse than iron defense. It's literally just worse iron defense because shelter has less PP. Oh, that's so lame. All right, anyways. Um, 
It has shell armor, so it can't be crit. That's pretty huge. Uh, you know, Miascarada crying, Urshifu crying. Gooey might be the better ability, but Sap Sipper is also really good. I think you're gonna want to you want to run uh, Sap Sipper uh, because it's a decent physical attacker. You can run like Heavy Slam. Uh, it gets Dragon Claw, which is pretty big. Uh, it gets Earthquake. Like it has a lot of really decent physical moves, and while it isn't like a really high base attack, it does also get access to Curse. So this is gonna be like a crazy curse Pokemon, like leftovers, uh, curse, dra heavy slam, dragon claw. You even drop like dragon claw and run like protect, and, like that's crazy. Uh, rest might not even be like a bad move on this guy. He's gonna be really annoying to deal with, and its move pool's insane. I actually think this is gonna be our uh, not S tier, but probably like A tier. Like I, it's close to S. Like it has an amazing typing, an amazing move pool, and it's gonna be really, really annoying to break. It's also another check to Golden Go. Like we're waiting for the Golden Go checks to drop. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Golden goes crazy. This thing just walls it out 100%. So, yeah. Uh, Hisuian Typhlosion. I'm not too excited for this guy. He's a cool design, right? Cool design, but not too hype for him. So, Hisuian Typhlosion gets the ability Frisk, which we're playing open team sheet now. Frisk is just a lame ability. So, let's pretend we're not playing on ladder. On ladder, use Frisk, but like on open team sheet, run Blaze. Like, Frisk is a useless ability in that sense. Um, unless you're playing against Zoroark. Then, then that like helps. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, 95 speed, 119 base special attack. Here's how you're going to run it, right? This is like the only set you need. By the way, I'm pretty sure they took eruption off of this. Oh no, it kept eruption. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. It kept eruption. This guy's crazy. Yeah, no, run eruption on him. Uh, give him like choice scarf. Oh my God, it kept eruption. I didn't think it would keep eruption. I thought they got rid of that. Where did I read that they got rid of that? Okay, well, this is updated for like, yeah. Okay, no, Eruption's crazy. Uh, Shadow Ball, uh, Heat Wave, if you if you run out of like Eruptions or like if your HP drops below where you need it to be. And then like your final move, it can be whatever. Terra Blast might be like the best option. Uh, but let's say you don't want to run like the Scarf Eruption set, probably like Focus Sash, um, not Eruption, but like Heat Wave, Shadow Ball, uh, Protect, and like will o -Wisp is gonna be your best your best guy. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's basically just like fast, frail Chandelure. That's the best way to think about it. But Eruption's crazy. Oh my god. No, that thing might... I, I'm going to put him in B tier because I don't think it's going to be that great at that speed tier. But like, yeah, uh, Eruption's insane for this guy. Okay, Hisuian Zorark. Hisuian Zorark's pretty cool. Um, granted, it's it's not like the easiest thing to call, right? Especially in VGC, like there's a lot of mind games here. Zorark, Hisui. It's a ghost type, which makes uh, which makes it immune to fake out, which is really good. You can actually like transform it into like a, not transform, but disguise it as like a fake out uh, weak Pokemon. And then like off a 105 base speed with 120 base special attack. That's like a free nasty plot. And then it also has bitter malice, which can, um, it's not like the strongest move, but it has a chance to lower targets attack stat by, or it's a hundred percent chance. So it's like always gonna lower attack stats. I think that's gonna be your best option over dark pulse. Dark pulse can flinch, but honestly like, the guaranteed attack stat drop is really crazy. Uh, Hyper Voice is also really strong. So like Nasty Plot, Hyper Voice is insane. You could even like not even run the Focus Ash. You can run Throat Spray. And then you have on that first turn, like you're able to go for the, the Nasty Plot or the Hyper Voice and immediately get that damage. Let's say they fake out into you or they go for like a close combat because you disguised it as a, I don't know, what's like a steel type that people don't want to deal with? I don't know. Uh, some kind of steel type, some kind of like normal type. Uh, then yeah, like it's going to be really, really free setup. That's the scary part with this guy. Hisuian Zorak, its initial damage output isn't that great. 120 base special attack is really good, right? But like it's it's the ability to get a free turn of setup if your opponent doesn't call it out immediately. That's the crazy part on it. Uh, and also the mind games. So I'm actually going to throw him in like A tier, I think. A tier is kind of a crazy ranking for him, but I do have a lot of faith this guy's going to be pretty decent. I thought he was going to be bad for a minute, but like just thinking about it, Throat Spray, Hyper Voice, Nasty Plot, Fake out mind games. It's great. It's a really great Pokemon. Cleaver. Okay. Okay. Cleaver. Gonna go crazy. I actually really like Cleaver. So it's got sharpness as well. It also has Stone Axe, which is much better than the Spikes uh, Cecil Sedge move because Stone Axe uh, will actually lay down uh, Stealth Rock. And yeah, it has a less accuracy. It's 90 accuracy, but still it's it's knockoff power. It's, it's a rock type move with like almost 100 base power with the sharpness boost. Uh, this thing also gets access to Swords Dance. Uh, it also gets access to Close Combat. It gets, yeah, like you can run just like this set. Like you just like Life Orbit, 
run sharpness, like max speed, max attack. It's it's a scary Pokemon that no one wants to switch in on. Uh, Intimidate, you know, it can be intimidated, but it, Intimidate's not like super useful right now that uh, Clear Amulet's running around, now that Annihilate's running around. Speed tier is pretty bad, but it does outspeed Golden Go by one point. So it's like fine in that sense. You can run like a dark move if you want. I'm pretty sure it's a dark. Yeah, Night Slash. It has darkness or it has sharpness Night Slash. So yeah, uh, I think it's going to be an A tier. We don't have very many good rock types this gen. Uh, yeah, actually, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to drop Quillfish down to B tier. And like these are the a, these are the A tiers. I don't think we have an S tier yet. Um, Asui and Lilligan. Not a Pokemon I'm hyped for. But as far as like the really good Pokemon, uh, this is going to be one of them. That's not it. I keep getting like the, the normal versions. It has Hustle, which is kind of scary. Leaf Guard, not the most important thing, but like Chlorophyll is going to be the big thing. Chlorophyll Sleep Powder has Victory Dance, which is basically just physical um, Quiver Dance. Uh, close Combat, Leaf Blade. Just slap like a Focus Sash on it. Uh, I think it's going to be like an automatic B tier for that reason. Like it's it's good, right? It's not like A tier uh, because like the initial speed is like, actually, no, that is really good. It, it's mostly the attack stat, right? Uh, it's 105, right? So it's not hitting that hard. Uh, but after like a single victory dance, it's like crazy. Focus Sash is like really scary. Sleep Powder is really good. Oh, am I going to throw it in A tier? Yeah, it's like head and shoulders above the rest. I'm going to throw it in A tier. I, I wanted to put it in B tier because it requires the setup, but the setup along with like the Sleep Powder Mind games, it's a little scary. It's kind of hard to deal with. Basque Legion. Now there are two forms. Basque Legion male, Basque Legion female. What's the difference? Uh, let me check. <laughs> female has higher special attack. Male has higher attack. Um, I'm probably going to rank female lower almost exclusively because the physical attack variant is going to be better uh, due to like the availability of like adaptability aqua jet does it get close combat it doesn't get close combat uh it gets last respects which is also crazy uh that's like a really good move that um houndstone's running on like sand teams right now because what it allows it to do is just like where you're already running like houndstone tyranitar and like lycanroc teams right now lycanroc tends to run like endeavor focus sash to help deal with like don dozo and other setup pokemon uh so it's always going to go down right so like in those, situ in those situations where you're guaranteed to have one Pokemon down by the time, like, Houndstone hits the field, that's quite good. Basque Legion, not the best on Sand Teams. However, Last Respects is still a viable move because it does get the adaptability boost if you decide to run that. Uh, so it just means it's, like, a, a middling move. But if you want to run, like, Shadow Claw, like, that's, like, your... That's, like, your other... Oh, it does get Shadow Claw. Oh, it has to run Last Respects, doesn't it? What Ghost moves do you get? Phantom Force. No, it has to run Last Respects. That's still, like, a fine move, though. Uh... It also gets uh, Liquidation, and it gets Head Smash. Yeah, uh, for the most part, this is going to be your set, right? Does it get Will-O-Wisp? It doesn't, okay. For the most part, this is going to be your set. Like Adaptability, Life Orb, um, Aqua Jet, Last Respects, Liquidation Protect. 78 base speed isn't that great, but like it's still like an amazing wall breaker. It's got really decent bulk at 120 HP, 65 uh, defense, 75 special defense. Uh, and even then, like you, you don't even have to run like the adaptability set. It still has Swift Swim. It's still able to be a really threatening Swift Swim Pokemon uh, with like great bulk. But I think the adaptability set is going to be like the more reliable one because uh, it doesn't require you to run rain. I think that it's going to be a B tier for me. <clears throat> But like the female version is going to be C tier because it's required to run a, an overall lower offensive set because like 100 base special attack. Actually, does it does it just have lower stats overall? Let me see. So 120, 92, 120, 112, 65, 65. It just has lower stats. What's up with that? What's the other ability? No, it's just lower. OK, yeah, that's weird. I don't know. Maybe I'm just tired. I've been out all day. Maybe I'm just missing something. All right, <clears throat> Anamorous. Anamorous is probably going to be our only guest here. So I'm not going to rank the uh, like the uh, the like actual legendaries, by the way, because they're not like viable in VGC, uh, or because they're not like available in VGC until restricted formats. And I'm talking about like entering the current format. But Anamorous, uh, Therian, and Anamorous Incarnate. Let's take a look at them. So Anamorous Incarnate has Contrary, got Superpower. That's 
That's that's all it needs. That's literally that's literally all it needs. It's it's crazy. Okay, no. Like I don't have to talk further about it to be honest, but that's S tier. Um other moves it gets, obviously it gets play rough. If you want to run like if you want to run like a special attacking set, it does get that new move. Um Springtide Storm, 30% chance to lower the opponent's attack step by uh, one stage. Uh, honestly, even though it has like base 135 special attack, I think that the superpower set is going to be like the most optimal set for you. You can even run like leftovers if you want. Just bulk this guy out. 105 base speed is really crazy. Like you can just outspeed like base one, uh, base uh, 100 Pokemon, which I think is like here. But you're outspeeding like Garchomp with that. So yeah, yeah, no, like 170 is probably going to be the set. Uh, you don't even have to run like a lot of attack investment. You can just like do this. Yeah, here's what you could actually do, right? You get your HP down to like ending with nine for optimal leftovers recovery. And then you like throw like four into like both defense stats, right? Why not? And then you just do this. Yeah, no, that's like a crazy set. You run like protect as your move. And then for your like coverage move, what other physical moves does it get? <clears throat> uh, did, did, did I see Iron Head? Yeah. No, there you go. That's a crazy set. Does it get a fighting move? Or it's super power, what am I saying? <laughs> yeah, it's super power. No, that's an S tier. Crazy Pokemon. Crazy Pokemon. Uh, Enamorous Therian, though. Overcoat's a really crazy move. It's also pretty slow. It's very bulky and annoying to deal with. Uh, this one, you're always going to run like the Moonblast set. Uh, I think Springtide Storm's a little bit too annoying to like consistently land. Uh, but also like Calm Mind Dazzling Gleam's like a set that you could run. Calm Mind Dazzling Gleam. Invest heavily into like your physical defense. Just set up with the special set. Run protect. Uh, you have overcoat, so you're immune to spore, which is really good versus like a Moongus, and it does have mystical fire. So this is gonna be like a very annoying Pokemon to deal with. That is also gonna be an S tier for me. Guaranteed crazy Pokemon. Togekiss typing as well. All right, skipping over Dialga and Palkia. Let's get to the last three that we're ranking right here. Uh, we have Sneasler. Sneasler is a very decent Pokemon in my opinion. A really good fighting type. Uh, which we don't really have right now it's do we have like a really good fighting type now that i think about it not really uh i'm probably forgetting something like obvious i always do 120 base speed 130 base attack those are the only stats that matter uh it's gonna have close combat it's gonna have poison jab or even gunk shot i'm pretty sure it gets that yeah uh but it also has dire claw dire claw 50 percent chance to sleep poison to paralyze the target in my opinion a really crazy move uh, better than Poison Jab, not better than Gunk Shot probably, like, but like also it's like the inconsistency. You don't know what status you're going to get. You kind of just have to roll the dice, but the 50% chance on it, that's worth it. Honestly, just like a Life Orb this guy, give it Dire Claw, give it Close Combat, Protect. Uh, if you want to run Swords Dance, you can be crazy like that. You can be crazy. It's 120 base speed. It's going to hit everything. So yeah, honestly, it needs to have a way to like hit, um, it needs to have a way to hit Golden Go. So probably like does it get Night Slash? It does get Night Slash, so you probably run that. But yeah, really great Pokemon. That's going to be an A tier for me. Oh, I stand corrected. This is an S tier. No, okay. So Ursaluna is my number one most hyped Pokemon. I don't know how I forgot about that guy. Ursaluna, craziest Pokemon ever conceived. Uh, it's a normal in-ground type. You got the Ghost Immunity. You got the uh, the Stab on Facade. You got Guts, and you have Stab Earthquake. Headlong Rush? Nah, 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 nah. Don't use that. You want to run Earthquake for that big boy damage. You know the damage that Garchomp does with its... Uh, what's Garchomp's base attack set? Is it like 140? It might be higher. 130. Okay, Garchomp, puny, puny little attack set at 130. Uh, it's it's like tearing with like a clear amulet and spamming Earthquake and taking KOs. Ursaluna, here's what it's doing. It's running Flame Orb. It's getting that burn boost because of guts. It's got a it's got a built-in choice band at that point. You Terra Ground, you spam Earthquake, you're getting KOs that Garchomp couldn't even dream of. You run Terra Normal Facade. It's now the scariest Trick Room Pokemon ever because it's got 50 base speed. It's also bulky as hell. This is the most busted Pokemon we're going to have, in my opinion. Like People will counter team it hard. Your like, best answers to this are going to be like Amoongus. But even then, Amoongus can't one-shot it with Giga Drain. Um, it, it, it like if you run like an assault vest set or even like bulk out the special defense, it's not going down to eruption. Uh, so Torkoal doesn't deal with it. You can't clear smog away its boost because it's built into guts. I don't know how we're going to deal with this thing entering the metagame. The best way to deal with it, don't let Trick Room go up. But even then, it's so bulky 130 base HP, 105 defense, 80 special defense. This thing has like Reggie Gigas stats. Let's look at Reggie Gigas. Reggie Gigas, ignore the special attack because it's like not using it. 
look at this 110 160 110 110 uh and then like 100 speed this is just trick room reggie gigas 130 140 105 80 it's getting close and it also has better typing so yeah that's an s tier i have no idea how we're gonna deal with that guy i love him i'm so excited for it i'm so excited for broken stuff <laughs> okay uh weird ear last pokemon so weird ear is an intimidate pokemon it's got decent bulk 103 hp 72 75 defense or 72 defense 75 special defense uh decent offensive stats equal in both 105 uh i i really don't think it's gonna be that good it's an intimidate trick room pokemon that's basically gonna be its role it does get skill swap for intimidate stuff intimidate's not like in high demand though i think that's just gonna be like a wait does it not get hyper voice yo he's losing he's losing hard here uh he has psi shield bash right what does that do in this gen Oh, wait, this is kind of crazy. 100% chance to raise the user's defense by one. So I can see this being a thing like leftover, size shield bash, you run like a physical set. Uh, probably like body slam if it gets it, yeah. Like body slam, trick room, size shield bash, protect. It's just gonna be like an, it's, it's gonna be like an annoying Pokemon to deal with to like KO, uh, but I don't think it's gonna be that great. That's gonna be like a C tier for me. But yeah, that's my rankings. Uh, we have the only S tiers are gonna be uh, Enamorous, both forms and uh, Ursa Luna. Our A tier is going to be Hisui and Samurott, Gudra, Zorark, Cleaver, uh, Lilligant, and Sneasler. Our B tiers are going to be uh, Arcanine, Hisui and uh, Braviary, Overquill, Hisui and Quillfish, uh, Hisui and Typhlosion, Basque Legion Male. C tier is going to be Hisui and Decidueye, uh, Basque Legion Female, Weird Ear, and our D tiers are going to be Hisui and Avalug and Electrode. But yeah, uh, I already gave my justifications for those rankings, obviously, but if you guys have any disagreements let me know in the comment section down below i guess watch the nfl playoffs go away uh stop seeing this ad but yeah uh i've seen this ad multiple times yeah uh if you guys enjoyed leave a like subscribe turn on notifications and i'll see you guys in the next one hopefully this goes up because i also have to edit this on my bad laptop but yeah see ya have a nice one bye